Welcome everyone, GSR Cartway. Uh, we weren't sure we were gonna get this event in. It was raining most of the trip here. It was raining when we got here. Corey just looked last and the clouds gone away. So I'm gonna make this short though. I'll come back and talk more, but we're getting him up on the grid for senior, his first, then this one is uh, at the end of the pr uh, practice. So I'll be back after practice with a little more talking. Well, you didn't get to see practice. The white bass, I said, don't worry about it. It was a new track. We both wanted to be watching. But Corey felt good. It took a, like a lap or two to get used to it. He said he was rolling. Um, track's a little soft right now. I geared what was recommended. We might have to go up a tooth. Um, but we're, we're not going to 100% worry yet about this one. We're going to get him on this, his primary cart in the sportsman class, which will be coming up here. And then gauge, I think, setups off of that. Yeah. See what the track feels like after we, we got some more runs. Yeah, you were 100% the first class out there, so I don't want to jump the gun and, and all that. So I want him to feel it out here, and then we'll make an adjustment. I think I have an adjustment we might make, depending on what he said, but we'll see what he says after he gets out in his primary cart. Um, I'm not even sure totals yet of each class. I know what pre-entries were. I think we're close to pre-entries, 15, 13. Uh, so something like that. But Corey's a little nervous. Yeah. A little new track jitters. Yeah, but did you like the track so far? Fun, the fun yeah. track? Yeah. So I don't think each end is a little different. It's slightly different? Perfect. Well, I will admit, there was a cart that was going to pass Corey, and then Corey kind of took off once he gauged the track. And they, he was behind us after scaling, checking the scale numbers, and I saw him over there peeking, <laughs> looking, at you, looking at your cart. So, so all right. Well, we're going to roll up and get ready to uh, practice the uh, sportsman cart. His primary, his main cart, so we'll be back. Track is definitely changing on our race. Corey says it's getting a little rougher out there, uh, but the track's drying up. Um, start forming a prep groove a little bit. Um, Corey was lacking a little side bite with this cart, and uh, I should have caught this last night when I scaled them. We didn't take this weight off, and I should have. Um, that's why there's an X there, because this was set up for GSR. I didn't, I didn't notice it when I was scaling it was my bad so I'm gonna slip that weight off because that's gonna gain him a lot of side bite and uh, should be more nor like his normal cart now because it'll be 100% set up like his normal cart besides tires so I'm going to uh, get that done Corey's in the middle of changing gear we unfortunately don't know RPMs because we've never been to this track before so Corey's tax at an auto learn the unfortunate when you're running GPS signals they had an auto learn so basic qualifying on our heat races is when we're going to figure out our time frame on, on our times. But we know we need to go up gear because Corey said he was just barely hitting the chip into the corner on this one. We know this one's a lot heavier. So it's lugging the motor more just because of the weight. So we're going up two teeth for qualifying. So we're going to send it. Um, I think we're going to leave the chassis low. And again, he was on a green track. I'm going to throw a little bit of prep on the tires because uh, I don't want to over prep them because um, these are our only tires, literally what's on the co-cart. I don't have anything else. So goal one is to make the main and then to, to, to do the best as we can in the main with the tires we got. So I can't be too aggressive with the tires. So yeah, that's what we got going on. So Corey's in the middle of changing gear. Looks like he's helping my wife get the motor loosened up a little bit. She forgot to wash a tire, everyone. I'll wash it, it's all good. <laughs> it might go throwing at me. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. I'll wash that tire while she helps. Oh, it looks like she's going to do it. So I'm going to move that weight then, like I said. So I'm repeating myself. I'm going to get off this before I keep jibber jabbing. We'll be back. Well, we are getting about qualifying time. Uh, Corey made the gear change on his senior cart, the NW16. Looked pretty sharp out there, to be honest with you. Um, we made that weight change. Should have caught that. God, I feel bad. Um, I put a little bit of prep on the tires. Again, I'm not going too aggressive, but they got bite. They, they have bite. Um, and uh, we're going to send it. Uh, honestly, first time qualifying. <laughs> we did qualifying when we were little kids at a national event in Iowa one time, but that was on asphalt, and that was a long-ass time ago. So basically, Corey's going to hit the track, hammer down, and go. It's gonna get two laps and be done. So and that's gonna line us up for a heat race. 
And then uh, we run, uh, I don't even know, are they like 10 lap heats? Do we know how long, how many laps? I'll have to go find out. I'll go bug Rick Roo, she's over here next to us. So, heat, and then if uh, we don't get in the top five through the heats, we run a B main, they take top two from the B main to go to the A. So 20 lap uh, A main for the senior division, 50 lap A main for the uh, L206 sportsman division. So, I don't know why they just don't go sportsman, 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 senior. <laughs> it's their naming. Controlled stock. They also call this one controlled stock, I think is what they call it. So, but we are just uh, in chill mode right now, just getting our cameras set up. Dad told us they were all ready to go, so Sarah threw them in there. Figured out the batteries were not in there, so Corey, Corey and Sarah just put the batteries in, got the cameras on here. I know, what the hell, man. <laughs> And then, uh, like I told you, Corey will have a helmet camera up here. So we haven't run that for almost two years, I bet. So, as you hear, announcer's basically saying it's getting time to do some go time. So we're gonna roll up here in a little bit. Uh, Corey is seventh out. I don't know out of how many. Yeah, senior sportsman. 15 is senior sportsman. He's the seventh out for qualifying. And then uh, the regular sportsman, controlled stock. He's, there's 17, and he is 14. 14th out, so towards the end of it. So, perfect. So that's our running order. So, uh, 14, 14, and 17. 14 and 17. I'll get it figured out here. All right. So, 15 and 17. Four, seventh and 14. Right, right. But the amount, the amount of carts, 14 and 17. I think that's so, like I said, Rick's right, right over here. Uh, Mr. Delavax over here. We know them from Arena. Chan Sandsbury's over here. We race with them at Delaware, Rice Lake, Mississippi Thunder. Um, Kirk, Kirk is over here with him and his boy. Um, he's running uh, senior with you. So, it's actually his boys lined up ready to go because he's in the rookie class. So, so that's what we got going on. Pretty full pits. Corey's still a little jittery, he says. So. Yeah, it's been a while. Only oh, freaking rain, and I didn't honestly think we were gonna race tonight. Sun, sun opened up. So Corey was about ready to take off his shirt, show some nipples earlier. Yeah, I did actually. Did ya? So, all right. Well, I'm gonna get uh, probably some tires checked to get ready. So I'll be back as we're heading up to the grid for qualifying. Forgot about Corey's information for the classes, so they knew how to announce them. So just quickly fill that out. Got that up to the workers so they can get that to them so they have it for qualifying here. All right, buddy, come on, have fun. Will do. Will do. Right. We'll
lap number two for Corey Wolf in the 16. Uh, that whole run was a lot of driver mistakes. You have quick time right now. No. <laughs> Shit comes, I was over, I needed to lift a little bit uh, going in to keep the cart more stable. Okay. And I was full board just trail breaking, it was upsetting the cart. Okay. But no way. Alrighty, well, we did some debriefing. Corey did have number one for a while there, but I think he's, we're thinking like third to fifth. We're not 100% sure. We're thinking that we haven't found like seen the list yet unfortunately they're not using my race pass so we can actually see the lineups and everything um, so we don't know yet <laughs> it's kind of guessing but we did debrief both these carts are acting the same which is freaking fantastic because there should be identical setups and of course you don't know Yes, this one has a lot more weight on it, but the gearing, he didn't pop the chip, but he's damn close, so I think we're going to leave the gearing. But I believe what we're going to do is we're going to make a change with the air pressure on this cart for his next qualifying run and see how that works so we can compare that for this one. Because um, the cart's acting the same into three. He's got a little bit of a light float feel to it. We don't run burrs. I mean, like I said, one of these are freaking eight years old and another set's two years old. Um... We don't run burrs, so of course it's a variable. I don't know how, how these work. Of course, you're using prep, which is another variable. So the normal air pressures, can I run those? So we're gonna adjust the air pressures, send them out for his, his qualifying run, and we're gonna see what happens, and then we'll gauge off of that. That's all we can do. So like Corey said earlier, let's not overthink it, right? Let's not overthink it. So I just threw one more layer of prep on this, not a harsh prep, more of a bite prep, and uh, get ready for the next one. Um, I think we still got a couple more classes, but uh, then we'll get Corey up there for uh, qualifying run number two. So we'll be back. Hello. <laughs> Ready to do some more more qualifying. Yeah. 14th out of 17th. Yep. Made the air pressure change. Yes, we did. We're gonna send it. Yep. So, try it out. Try it out. See what happens. Yep. Wish the boy luck. All right, bud. Want to have fun? I'm gonna send it, bro. Send it. A lot better. Like that better? Oh my god, yeah. Okay. We're on to something then. Yep. Okay. Again. How'd that look? Looks good to me. Yeah. I thought it looked really good. Felt comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well we turned 11.35 yeah. on hard tires. We're on, we're on 50 to 55 on the Duro. Now, Mr. Rick Rouge turned quick time at 2.9 something. I know he's got another set of tires he's running for qualifying. So, I think we're like mid packish. So, out of 17, I think we're seventh to ninth on a harder set of tires. I'm, I'm good with that. The change we made, Corey says that's the cart, the best that car, these carts have felt. So, that should translate from this chassis to that chassis. So I'm going to do the same air pressure change on this cart and we're going to send it. So I don't think we're going to leave the, touch the gear. The gear is good. Um, 
if we were at MTS, we wouldn't change the gear. We would leave it. And as the night goes and as the prep groove builds, the track technically should get quicker. So we might end up maybe dropping a tooth by feature time if we make the mains. So we're just gonna have to keep an eye on the track. I wish I had my race pass so I could watch lap times, but we're kicking it old school. So we'll keep doing what we're doing. But Corey was very confident with that setup. I thought the cart looked very stable. As you witnessed, you were explaining to me that a lot of carts are fighting the driftness into three. There's more tack in one or two, but it's a little drier in three and four. Yes. So basically, it's who can get into that corner the best and can get the cart under control. Right. So I'm, I'm thinking we're going to leave it. I, I, so the wife's over here working on getting the tires cleaned up. I probably should introduce us if you haven't seen us before. That's my wife, Sarah. That's Dred Momo, Corey Wolf, and I'm White Wolf. Uh, e -E. Usually there's a whole other group here, but they're off at a wedding and stuff like that. So. We are here racing, as some say priorities. This is right. <laughs> so, all right, so that's what we got going on. Yes, I'm very happy with, with that qualifying run. The cart looked very stable. Yeah. Corey came off the, off the track very confident. So I think we got like a five, 10 minute intermission, then they're gonna do open ceremonies, yep. and then we start racing. Yeah, that's so, why we're here tonight, is just to have fun. Have fun, that's Honestly, why we're here. The money comes, but I'm, I'm not expecting it. No. First, I want to make the mains. That's my goal number yeah, one. Yeah, Once we yeah. make the, if we make the mains, then it's all right. Let's just top. If I could top ten, top fives, I'd be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah, I would love to win the money, but yeah, that's not why we're here to do. We're here to have fun. Yeah. So. And first time being here, I don't expect it. No. So, but word. <laughs> so I was thinking they had two, so it's a good thing we got up here. On the front row, Corey Rogers, Taylor Austin, and Mike Station Senior, row number three on the inside, Mike Warner to the outside, Mike Station Senior, row number four on the inside, Will Vanderbilt to the outside, Michael Austin. Right, Corey got third, started second, finished third, all over second place. Again, it's rookie line racing. <laughs> Man, it's tough, sucks. 
So, it wasn't but that bad. Though. It wasn't bad, but it, it kills racing. You all know where I sit. I'm not going to sit on a rant on this one. But yeah, anyways, it was, it was a fun race. He finished third. He got us in the main. Yep. I think that should put you third row inside if we're figuring this out correctly because you were on the first split, so it should put you inside. So yep. I think we're good with that. Yeah. Uh, we were a tad tight. Yep. You liked how it was going in, but it was a little tight coming out. It wasn't pulling to the bottom how you would want it to off the corner. So I think we're going to make a cross change right now. Actually, he's got the tire off already. So he's going to get that done before we head up there with this one. And uh, we're going to send it. So he uh, was getting quicker and quicker and quicker as the race went. I think if he could have gotten into second, I don't, I don't know. He wouldn't have reeled in, I don't think, Kirk in the 20. But I think you would have gotten quicker. You're getting, I think, just held up, I think, honestly. So, but he had a fun race. That's all we asked for. We're in the main. So goal number one is done for that class. And uh, he's going to skip the tire. <laughs> I got that on video. <laughs> uh, so he's going to get that done. I'm going to get tires ready for this. I am no longer prepping them. I'm putting just a super light coat of, of um, uh, bite prep on it. The tires are where I want them. I don't want them any softer than the way they are. Uh, everyone tells me Burris is the less you can wipe, the better. So that's what, that's what I'm going off of. So, all right, we'll be back as we're heading up to the grid for uh, heat number one for Sportsman. All righty, and see I'm heading up to the grid. Corey's in the second split, starts third row outside. Uh, we're gonna run the same changes we ran in the other cart, see how this one works. So all we can do is send it and have fun. So as you see, split number one's at the grid. We're waiting. So wish Corey luck. Alright bud, have fun racing. Stop we go to! Got in the main for the sportsman, finished fourth. He was gaining on the top three. Um, and then he started driving a little different because um, he pushed off a two, so he adjusted his driving style. And he didn't lose gap, he just kind of maintained it, but it really was upsetting the cart how he had to drive it to get itself through the corner. 
So we're gonna make a chassis change on this cart too. We're gonna take some more cross out of this one. And then I'm gonna go back, I think, on my air pressure. Um, I don't wanna keep, I don't wanna get the burrs softer than they are. So, and we also are running a softer chassis compared to a lot of people. So I don't want to, what's the terminology I want to, I don't want to get us too stuck to the ground. I got to keep the, the free roll. Um, so I think, I'm not, a, I haven't 100% decided, but I think I'm going to go air back on the right side, what I had before. We're going to make the chassis adjustment, which will loosen them up. The air will also loosen them up a little bit, keep them a little more freer. Um, Cause again, I don't want to get them too stuck because the track is continuously keeps gaining grip. So I don't wanna take and cause it so we're stuck to the ground. Uh, but we're now in a 50 lap race and it's survival now. That's that's what this comes down to. So they're actually in the middle of running the B main. Hopefully Mr. Sansbury's got his cart running. Um, looks like he's out there. So push him luck, I think they take the top two. So. So yeah, this is a different game everyone that we're used to. The prepping definitely changes things. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep debrief on Corey. We're gonna keep talking. Um, and go from there. Because again, we just have to survive. So I want to keep the cart consistent for him and be there at the end this is the key. So alright, I'm gonna jump off for a little bit, we'll be back. Alright everyone, we're at the grid. Gear change on Corey's senior. I tested his air pressures too. We're testing another theory on it. So 20 laps, start start their own side. Let's see what he can do. All right, bud. Come on, have fun. <laughs> Woo! Race the track. Yes, sir.
Well, Corey got her, fourth place there. Unfortunately, had to rough up someone who wanted to run the rookie line again. God damn it. Wishing people learn how to goddamn race. Uh, soft tires, too soft to tires. I could already tell. He started hopping uh, through that one long run. But he got fourth. I got a top five. I'm very happy with that. Uh, hopefully he had fun. And uh, we'll come back when he gets uh, back over here off the grid. Hey, you had to rough her up a fucking ass. I had to, dude. I know, I know. How she got it on me? She hit you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just fucked up. I rookie line fucking racer. That's all brakes. Mine faded. I'm not, I'm, I think mine, mine were gone. I'm not. Ended up finding that Corey's right, right side brake pad was not retracting. Actually rubbing on the rotor. Doesn't move like this side does. You can see it moving. That side's not moving. So we're going to have to figure that out at home. New cart gremlins. It is brand new parts. So we'll have to figure out what's going on. But I wonder if that might be why you got a little... Your brakes started fading on you, you said. Oh, yeah. So... And the yellow came on. I hit the pedal. There's there, no, nothing there. And he was using the brakes to help rotate the cart. So... But... Like I said, too soft of tires. I over-prepped them for here. But like I told Sarah, I mean, it's once you start, you hit it or don't. So if we come back here for this event next year, now we know. These tires should get harder now as we let them sit. So basically, we don't touch them going into the event. So now we know. It was a good race. He had fun. Yeah. Fortunately, he had a drive at the end like you drove. Right. Well, that's what happened to me. Yeah. So I felt like, okay, get yep. on. Yep, do it back. Yeah. So, and again, running that goddamn rookie line. It's frustrating, people. It is. It's frustrating. Yeah, I would have liked the race. Great. So, but we got fourth. So, now we change gears on this one. We're taking some of that information from this one and moving it to this one. So, I'm changing air pressures. He's doing a gear change because that definitely helped, I think, with your speed. And uh, 50 laps, survive. Uh, That's yeah. all we can do. 20 was even. 20 was tough. Oh, yeah. Make sure you're drinking, bud. Yeah. So, alrighty. Well, we're gonna keep working. I'll be back before we head up to the grid. All right, here we go into the grid. Main event time. 50 laps. Air pressure changes. Gear change. Cross change. Let's see what we can do. Starts fourth throw outside. Let's go have some fun. Wish the boy luck. So last minute decision. Corey wants his helmet strap. So I'm heading to the trailer now to grab it. They're getting towards the end of the race here. Then they told us they're doing a, a break. Wish I would have known that. Because um, all of us are ready. Let's just roll. Why do we got to take a break? Just run it. But we'll see. So I'm heading back to the grid with Corey's helmet strap. So, again, let's see what we can do. 50 laps. All right, bud. Race the track. Have fun. Will do. 50 laps. Woo!
been, man? What could have been? So this has moved. Insert pictures here, right up in this corner. This bar, as you can see, was rubbing on his tire. This literally is a solid bar, hopper stopper bar, and you can see where it's bent. That's how hard he got hit on the start of the freaking 50 lap race. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, young kid. Being too aggressive when they shouldn't be that aggressive. Experience, it's 50 laps. All we had to do is just get into single file and just start picking them off. Cause we're out there rolling and I'm, I'm thinking in my head, I know I'm not this far off. I should not be this far off with this cart. And of course he said the cart was not predictable at all. No, it was the whole run and that, that would be why. That was like you had a brake dragon you're affecting how your your cart's rotating. Yeah. It's literally dragging the braking on you when you don't want it to. So, is it marked? Is it grooved? Yes. Oh yeah. Look at wow. that. Look at that. Wow. Wow. That's Man. Crazy. Man. But we still had fun, right, Momo? We rallied for an eighth. We still had a uh, successful night. It was a learning experience. Yeah. I think we learned some stuff. Um, I would say, honestly, if they have this event next year, maybe we'll put it on the event. I think, we'll put it on. I think yeah. so. I don't know if Dale Old Man would want to do it now. It's. I don't know. Maybe the senior. He could run senior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I, it, as much as that frustrates me, I still had fun. Yep. So. And what what's awesome is they tech. They did tech. Like full on tech. Full on tech. Motor. Yeah. They're checking your tires. Tires. I don't know what they were checking. Well, we have to run Burris 33A, oh. so probably making sure we had the right tire. Sure. So I mean, because you got in for eighth place, eighth you had place. this pulled. They checked your uh, slide. Slide. Uh, spark plug. Spark plug. Um, uh, the seals. The seals. Yep. So, yeah, we need that kind of stuff. Yeah. Even I don't care if even it's just a regular show, and that's what they tell me is even a regular show they tech, and we need that. Oh. So it's good on them for doing it. I would like to come back here sometime. Me too. So we're gonna put the these tires off. They're gonna get put up in the up in the rafters, and they're gonna get hard. Yep. Because I've learned some things about the Burris, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. We're gonna get them hard. Not to prep, no, not to prep the way we prepped. We can't prep them like Max's, so <laughs> we are learning. Prepping man is a different game. So it's, I'm constantly learning, Corey's constantly learning, we're always learning. But we got notes for next year. Yep. And I know we can make this card faster. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I think we're on to something. So, we had a lot of fun though. So I'm gonna take a quick break here. We're gonna do some more stuff. I'll jump back on to close this video here in a little bit. I need a beer. Yeah. All righty, as you see, camp is starting to crack, close down here. Uh, had a beer, did some work. Wife's been doing a lot of work. Keep him, take up the slack of Heidi. I had to pick up the slack of Heidi. Right, right, right. Heidi, we missed you, come back. Please. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, talking with Corey, he doesn't think we are that far off on tires, which I think that's good to hear. I um, think we know what we need to do for next year for, for if we come back for uh, setup. Yeah, not to bend that bar on your tire. Not to bend that bar on our tire. That's yeah. Damn it. So yeah, because our fastest lap times was 11.3 when we were turning 11 ones in the heat race. We should have been in the 10s and I know we would have. But unfortunately, that bar was just killing us. But as Corey's favorite saying, it is what it is. Uh, you both told me that for that race. Just give me a high yeah. Get a beast mode. Yeah. <laughs> right? Which I mean, you hung the outside really good, though. Really did. And like I said, in that you'll see in the video. I mean, well, I, yeah, probably because I'll clip it to the outside view, probably, but. It was like a, a cart and a half. He should have predicted you to drop down, but that's just experience. Yeah. So. I felt like man. I just got piled. Up. You did. I like how Dad did that. Yeah. Like, yeah. And one, kid, and one kid actually, you, you're saying, walked up and said, hey, did, 
Do you see that? That was bent? Did, yeah, did you know that that was talking because it was touching? And and it was, oh, okay, Why the heck did you say something under caution? Because <laughs> we could at least run out there and I could have yanked on the son of a bitch a little bit. I mean, <laughs> son of a... So if you watch this, bring that up out of caution of someone else or us again if that ever... Hopefully it doesn't ever did happen. Hear, I don't know if he was a driver. That's true. He might not have been a driver. That is true. That is true. I mean, I didn't see the smoke from the outside view. Oh, you are getting old. You are God damn it. I am 40. <laughs> and I have no clue what's going on when I'm taping video. Tape, what I'm taping. Taping. <laughs> you I'm taping. aged yourself, too. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a... You are getting older. At least I caught it. Yeah, you did. I mean, Ashley's eight years younger than me, and she still says tape. <laughs> and you're four years younger than me, so you know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, in all in all, it was still a fun night. It was. It was so, fun. it was good fun. Fun track. Each corner's different. Yep. That's, that's so, it's different when you got grip on a track, huh? Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, Probably speaking of that. We're in prep season, so. Speaking of that. Yeah. Not next week. Back yeah. At, uh, sand. yeah, sand track for two nights. We got a lot of racing. We got a short turnaround. So, because we were racing Friday night, so we got one less work in the shop night. Three motors to switch. Take off. Two motors. Two motors. Yeah. Two motors to swap. So, take this one, actually. No. This is his main cart. All right, so the his cart, his, the secondary, the senior cart had dad's actual engine on it. So, that's got to get put back on his cart take one off and put it on so well we're gonna finish cleaning up it's actually not too bad a time 10 25 so we could be out of here by 11 get us home by two so it's not too bad they rolled the show pretty good in my really opinion did. i am so. very impressed on how they crap the track and rolling yeah their fear on their calls consistent yeah from what i saw yep. yeah there was yep. a what, junior three there was for the win the leader just got plowed. Yeah. Yeah. The guy who did the plowing, but I'm. Sarah but brought I up. I was gonna say I I watched most of it though, and really, well, I do not say he was in the right. The guy in first had been running the, the rookie line. The rookie line. Okay. And he got sick of it and just. So what do you what do you do? Yeah, you gotta do something. And that's and that's what I I was talking to another driver who actually uh, his son races, and he actually came and watches our vlog and stuff. And he said the same thing. He goes, unfortunately, when someone runs that line, you just gotta keep bumping them to move them, and you hate that. I do. You absolutely hate that. Just I told like him, I said, yeah, it. you don't want to do that. But when they run that line, they create that scenario, and it sucks. And then it makes the person that's trying to do the passing. They're always the one that gets the bad rep before it. Right. If you guys would just figure out how to run the normal line that's actually faster yeah. and stop worrying about blocking the person behind you, you'd be faster. But I'm not going to keep harping on this. I've been harping on this all fucking year and hopefully <laughs> they learn. So, but all in all, we had a blast. Yeah. If they do this again next year, I think we'll put it on the calendar. Maybe it'll get dad up here this time to race. Um, so I had a lot of fun. I got, I honestly got nothing bad to say. So they were really good on getting their information out throughout the week. I mean, we paid 10 bucks per spot for this and it was right there at the grid. I'd, I'd pay 25 a spot for this, to be honest. This is an awesome spot. So I'm surprised this isn't a reserve spot, to be honest with you, for regular racers. So, but with that said, like, subscribe, comment, share, and, uh, maybe we'll get a shot video this week. If not, you'll see us at MTS for our double header spectacular. So, peace.